Hi, I'm Brian King. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to StampWithBrian.com. If you've been following my cards or my blog for a while, then you know that there's one thing I pretty much can't live without. Have you guessed it? It's Stampin' Dimensionals. These little hexagons add a lot of flavor to almost any card instantly. Come sit down with me and I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks that I've learned about Stampin' Dimensionals. That's right, today's video tutorial is exclusively about Stampin' Dimensionals. Uh, these guys come $300 to a pack and at $3.95 per pack, they're one of the best bargains in the catalog. And I'm going to show you the basic use of them and also a couple of tips and tricks that I've learned to use them in ways that you may not have thought of already. So these little guys come on a sheet like this. Again, there's three sheets, and I've started already using these here. But I'm going to show you the basic use for a Stampin' Dimensional. I have stamped here, thank you, from the Dude, You're Welcome kit in Melon Mambo. And I've also stamped uh, this little green butterfly uh, using Papillon Potpourri and punching it out with the Elegant Butterfly Punch. Now, I could just glue this down, but that's kind of boring, I think. I want to punch this up a little bit, so I want to add a little lift to this element of the card by adding a Stampin' Dimensional. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel off one of these little hexagons, and it's sticky on this side, and then there's a little sheet on this side. <clears throat> I'm going to just press it down there and then lift off that sheet and discard it or throw it on the floor and you'll find it later. Um, and then I'm just going to press this down and I now have a finished card that's very simple and easy but it has a nice little lift with the Stampin' Dimensional. So now I want to show you a couple of tips and tricks that I've learned that uh, really have helped me and I think they'll help you as well. First of all, <clears throat> I just have a little square here uh, I want to show you a trick that I learned from Pam Morris, my upline. Um, I've just put this uh, little dimensional down, and I want to peel this off. Well, normally you'd start digging at the dimensional to try and get that piece off. But what Pam showed me is just use your paper snips and poke a little hole right here in the middle. And then you probably can't see this, but the whole thing kind of bends down. You hear a little pop, and what happens is that the paper just comes up on the edges to where you can just peel it right off. Uh, you could also use a piercing tool for the same effect. So essentially, it's an easier way to get that off. So I'm just gonna set that over here. And I wanna show you another little trick. On this pack, you can see that as I'm working along, I don't leave the edges here. Well, that's because you can very easily snip these edges and use them as well. Um, these on this on the sides have very narrow and thin pieces that can be used on sentiments and uh, narrow things. Um, but on the edges, they have these larger, almost half dimensionals that you can use as well. No one sees the bottom, so what's the big deal? But something else that you might not know that I learned at a recent event, and I just think it's wonderful is that when you're done with the dimensionals, and I'm almost done with these, I will use them up. I actually have enough dimensionals uh, in the event of a zombie apocalypse. I am well stocked. Uh, I think every time I place an order, I must put in for two or three packs of these things. I just love them. But when you're done with these, this um, surface that the dimensionals are on is slick. And <clears throat> one of the cool things is that um, it won't capture the snail adhesive uh, on this surface. And what it does is it just rolls it back on. So I'm gonna put a little bit of snail adhesive on this really small object. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's no adhesive here and there's no adhesive on the front of this object. What happened is that the adhesive rolled back onto the object. So now I can very easily with some snail adhesive put this circle onto this scallop without a mess on the outside of the card. Isn't that clever? <clears throat> so you can also um, use the dimensionals in, oh my goodness, 
Did I just stick that down? Ah, oh, not a problem. Did you know that if you place your dimensional item down upside down or crooked or you just want to switch it out, that you can easily do that with a pair of paper snips? So I'm just going to, with my snips, go up under here, find that little dimensional and snip it. Just cut it in half. And then with your finger, you can easily roll that right off without any mess or additional cleanup or problem. And I'm back to, there we go. I'm back to my card before this awful disaster. Um, you can also use dimensionals around the house if you want to stack them under a wobbly chair or put them on the back bottom corners of a hanging picture um, or even inside of a cabinet door. You just want to make sure that you don't take off the little um, backing part or your cabinets will all be shut permanently um, unless you have your snips handy. Um, for any of these tips and tricks or to see projects that I've made using Stampin' Dimensionals, again, they're on almost every project, uh, please visit www.stampwithbrian.com. Thank you for listening to this tutorial, and I hope you'll come back.